We have the one of the craziest things ever, and it's happening right here today at the Team Warehouse, guys. Behind me, we have someone very special who's been working since he was 12 years old on this amazing project, and he's like first in the world to ever do it. I think about like real life Iron Man. Think about like real life superhero. That's exactly what's happening today, and it's not even a joke. And so I'm gonna be surprising all of Team Raw with this thing. So here, let's go get a let's get a closer look. We're pulling in the driveway right now. It wasn't gonna fit in the driveway, so we had to we're gonna carry it in manually. But here it is right here. So this is the first glimpse of what we're gonna be witnessing today. I'm so excited. I've only seen some videos of this. I've never seen it in person and I honestly am skeptical that it's even real. It might be CGI but we're about to find out firsthand today. He probably is very offended. <laughs> today we're gonna prove if this is real or not. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's is asking me on the internet, is it actually real? It's the most sophisticated lawnmower you've ever seen. So the first phase is to sneak this into the backyard. Everyone is here. Lucas and Marcus are here. All of Team Rar is here. We don't want them to see this because if they see it, they're gonna start to know we're up to something. So we gotta get this into the backyard without anyone seeing so we're gonna go do that one that's phase one let's go Ryan and his team are out there filming right there like couldn't be more obvious so we're thinking if we should maybe put a blanket over it or if we just kind of carry it and go I mean you can't really tell what it is you guys don't even know what it is unless you know from the thumbnail and title but it's hard to see what it is until it's all put together yeah, do that I guess and just kind of send it over all right all right guys phase one is in action let's see if we can go through it uh -oh. I mean, yeah. it's so hard. Ryan, get back to work. There's nothing to see here. Get back to work. Turn your cameras on. What are you doing? Perfect. And then we can lose the cover. Yeah. Matt, quiet. Oh, sorry. We're trying to sneak. <laughs> All right, guys. Phase one, we got it. I don't think too many people saw, and if they did, it was under the blanket, so we should be good. Now we just gotta get it set up, so what yeah. is the next step? Now we just gotta set this thing up, so I'm gonna strap some boots on, take some covers off, and uh, turn on some electronics. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's 10 motors, and I can have two fail and still land safely. Okay. All of the signals are redundant, so if one fails, it just constantly monitors and searches for the best one. And also, there's five power systems on here, and I can have one blow up, catch fire, etc. cetera, and this should be okay. So how do you control like where you go? Do you lean? So I'm controlling throttle which is like up down mm -hmm. and then it's kind of like you're skydiving you're in like a little bit of a wind tunnel yeah so you've got 500 pounds of air cycling around you because yeah. that's how much I can lift and so when I stick my hand out it kind of like pushes me around a little bit and kind of helps me navigate so you drive by reaching yeah all the airflow if I stick my hand out it disrupts it and that's what kind of shifts me around <laughs> that yeah, sounds it, dangerous it took a while to get and now it's like extremely steady I so can, I can hold the perfect does the board try to just maintain level uh, I turned off all of the stabilization and stuff like that because it doesn't make any sense. You're top heavy, right? You don't want to have this thing trying to control itself while yeah. you're wobbling around up there. But yeah, other than that, it's tuned. All the motors are tuned. Like, like if you flew with no one, it wouldn't. It would just kind of go up and just crash. Like it, unless I spent some time to turn the stabilization back on. We are now moving on to phase two. Phase two is the big one. This is where the, all the magic happens. So Hunter is getting set up right now as we speak. He's getting the hoverboard all prepped and ready. So phase two is when we get this thing all fired up. We get the engines running and he starts taking off and actually achieving a flight. At that point, we have to make sure everyone is in the backyard all at the same time so they can see it because his flight time will be limited. So we have to make sure that everyone can see it all in one go. And that's gonna just absolutely blow everyone's mind when he comes up behind this wall, above the trees and flies over the pool, over the house. It's gonna be insane. Nobody is expecting a real life like jetpack hoverboard. It doesn't make any sense. I still don't believe this is gonna work, but we're about to find out. It's all magic. Harry Potter's my brother. It's a little windy today, but he doesn't think that's gonna be an issue, but I think when you're 30 feet in the air flying over concrete water, the roof of the house, standing on basically like lawnmower blades spinning extremely fast, 500 pounds of thrust, I think, you know, any bit of wind or anything up there might, you know, could affect the flight of this thing. This is crazy. So I'm getting all the motors turned on. We've got five different power systems in here. So I got to crank up each one individually right now and uh, get it ready to go. But after that, we'll have full power and be, uh, be done. So Hunter, how much time do you think we need before we go uh, to flight time? Uh, I'm gonna say probably six and a half minutes. Six and a half minutes? Sure. All right, that's my cue to get everyone into the backyard, okay. into place, because guys, it is about to be go time. And I can't wait to surprise Team Rar and Lucas and Marcus are here all in the same day. Ryan, we got Bailey, we got my friend Camden, we got Matt here, so many different people, all with different perspectives. They're gonna all have such crazy reactions. I feel like anyone to see like a real life jetpack in real life, not in the movies, not CGI, no strings. It's just going to be crazy. I can't even battle. I think I'm going to freak out when I see it. Yo, Lucas and Marcus. Yo. Yo. Thank you guys for waiting. So as you know, as I told you, there's a huge surprise. 
and that surprise is about to happen in like five minutes. Okay, what is it? Well, it's a surprise. I can't. That's the uh, whole point. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, so it's going to happen in the back end. So I'm going to call you guys out in just a couple minutes. Right. And then it's going to be just a crazy surprise. I think you guys are going to love it. Right, let's do it. Yo, Bailey, you too. Oh, so it's, it's going to surprise for everyone. Ready. Andrew said, come meet me in the backyard. I instantly dropped everything. I started <laughs> walking. <laughs> Cam, we got a big surprise in the backyard in three minutes. Look at you. You have, you have any idea? I have no clue. All right, Liz. Yeah. We're gonna be ready in like two and a half minutes. But that's when the Chick fil A goes. <laughs> what? <the> Chick -fil -A? <laughs> <laughs> this, what's, this is a right. big surprise. It's more important than Chick fil A. Is it romantic? Uh, it could or is maybe. it boy? It's not just boy, it's <laughs> epic. Come on. All right, in the backyard, two and a half minutes. We gotta get everyone standby. Hey, Ryan. Uh, huge surprise in the backyard in about one and a half minutes. You down? Yeah, one and a half minutes. Okay. All right, guys. It's game time. It's show time. Let's go. Everyone in the backyard. Let's go. Big surprise. This is the countdown. What could it be? What is the back show about? Guys, it's go time. So you're putting earplugs in? Yeah, I am. It's so loud. These propellers, they spin faster than the speed of sound. So oh. you're going to be breaking sound barriers. I had no idea. I guess from like a, you know, a YouTube video, you would never know it's how loud it is. I can't wait to see you climb up. I mean, you look like Iron Man. Let's do it. Is that rolling right there? Yep. All right. Oh my God. What the heck? What are our guesses? What does everyone think it is? Snakes. New snakes? New car? New car full of snakes. Snake. Matt, what do you what think are... it is? I have no clue. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Guys, here it goes. This is the first look, and he's literally gonna stand on it. I think he's gonna put <laughs> us. I mean, he gathered all of us here today for a reason. This is an incredible feat of engineering, guys. I didn't even think this would be physically possible. Guys, the wind is picking up, which could prove to be extremely disastrous. I don't even wanna say that word. I haven't asked him if he's ever had an accident or if he's ever crashed. I don't want that bad juju right now. We're just gonna hope for the best, and I think it's gonna be amazing. Everyone's gonna freak out. All right, any last words? How are you I'm thinking about this wind, it's gonna be a fun one. Oh you boy. might see me twirling around a little bit. If you're gonna crash, aim for the pool. Okay, cool, good plan. I don't know how your board will survive, but I think you'll do okay. I've never crashed this thing before. Oh my gosh, he's climbing up right now, guys, putting his entire body weight on the machine. He's got snowboard bindings. That is a lot of weight for those two little tiny legs over there. I've noticed that. Guys, this is a balancing act. Talk about standing on a beach ball floating on the water. That's basically what he's doing, but in the air. All right. Cue the intense music. All right, hang on. I'm going up. I gotta make sure everyone's ready for the surprise, guys. This is it. We're about to do it. All right, is everyone ready? Yeah. All right, we're ready. Here we go. Guys, I am so nervous. Here we go. Just looking around, Just feeling the wind. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. What the heck? We need a hand? Uh, I think it's, I'm good. I'm gonna try and take off one more time. Liz, what do you think? Is that insane or what? That's crazy. That's that was crazy. insane. Surprise. Yeah, man. Oh my gosh. That was like shook the whole time. I didn't even know how to film it. I mean, poor Matt over there just has no idea. Look at him. Just shook. Yo, Hunter, that was crazy. You're going again? I'm gonna do it again. I think that we need to do it a little bit better. Let's see how we can do this time. Better? I don't even know how you get better than that. Guys, this hoverboard is one of the most rare things I've ever seen. It is so incredibly ridiculous. And Team Rar has got the new big green bundle that we are releasing. You guys can get a green backpack, green plushie, green water bottle, and a bunch of other green stuff, all for an incredible price. We can save over $80. Now let's get ready for the last flight of the day. You still got enough charge in there? Oh yeah, that was nothing. I got about 76% left. Wow, so that was about 25% to fly from there to there. Real life hoverboard, here we go in three, two, one. <laughs>
got completely sprayed with water. That was a good run. That, that was bad. that was a good one. You went real high, you went hovering, you flew around. Bailey, what if you jumped off over him into the pool? I'll do it right now. You, you just gotta clear there. you gotta clear those blades by a mile. I'll send it. Oh boy, guys, we're just kind of sending it. Bailey's climbing up. Hunter's about to take flight again, and I'm still just shook. He's going for one more flight. With <laughs> Bailey is going to be jumping over him or over something. That? Yeah. No, that's going to be crazy. It is going to be crazy. Here goes nothing. I'm climbing up to the top of the sky bridge. Yeah, Yo, you sure about this? Dude, this is no. One, this is a world record first, never been done before. Yeah, let's bet money on it. What, that, you, that, right? that you'll survive? If it goes wrong, I'll be you. If it goes wrong, there is. <laughs> I don't even say. I don't even, we're gone forever. You're in the ground. Guys, this is really dangerous. So I'm getting into position. Bailey is nuts. There's no talking Bailey out of a crazy thing. We got Liz on the roof. I mean, guys, the setup we have doesn't make sense, and we haven't even left the ground yet. All right, well, here he goes. You got to steer clear a mile away from those blades because those things are dangerous. All right, here we go, guys. He's starting his engines. <laughs> If you guys think this is just as incredible as I do, you gotta check out Hunter Kowald on all of his platforms if you wanna see more of this incredible content. This is only the start of it. We're chasing people all over the internet. Yeah, things are about to get crazier than even this, so you guys have to stay tuned and subscribe to him on all of his socials. Links are in my description. So let's get ready for the last flight. Hey, all right, Carter, thanks for having me. I'm headed home. Oh, all right. I guess, I guess he's gonna fly. Oh. the next video click right here or right here also check out teamrar.com we got some awesome stuff like this plushie this backpack shirts hats everything that you could ever want if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button right here and i'll see you guys on that next vlog click right there or right here do something